We're back looking at the eighth hole of the Harmony Golf Preserve. Uh, it's an 18 hole course, of course, and uh, included within it are a, a lot of ponds. These, are, these ponds are actually part of the stormwater system here at Harmony. And uh, you'll see that the edges around them are fairly rough. Um, they're not mowed right down to the edge. And in fact, a lot of the ponds have been built with these uh, littoral shelves uh, specifically to support sandhill crane nesting. Sandhill crane is a protected species in Florida. The desire was to create a, a marsh area where they can actually uh, uh, build some nests. And this is a popular spot each spring for nest building and I'm seeing one on the nest right now. Let me see if I can zoom in a little closer. Up oh, there she is. You can see that red head. Let's pause for a minute and watch. There's a Florida population of sandhill cranes, but also a migratory version of, of cranes as well. And uh, they come down from the northern states. And about this year, this is actually kind of late April for nesting, but uh, it's happening. And uh, they'll uh, they'll take down grass and uh, and kind of build a mound of grass and and, and other vegetation and put their nest on top of it. Um, they usually have two young cranes uh, each time and uh, they don't stay on the nest for more than a day or so. I'm trying to make out if there's a young crane there now. They're a little buff colored. Uh, they're, I'm, maybe that's just mom sitting on some eggs. Um, but the, the young are precocious. They'll leave the nest to, almost immediately the next day and uh, it won't be long before they'll be walking around. They're always a hit with the golfers and uh, just to see uh, young cranes walking around. We're very protective of them and post signs to make sure that they don't get harmed and, and people are aware of what they're seeing and what's been going on here. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a pretty cool thing to have as, uh, as part of the golfing experience. The Harmony Golf Preserve is one of the longer courses around the Orlando area. It's got over, uh, well, boy, over 250 acres involved with it. Uh, a lot of that acreage is devoted to uh, to uh, ponds and out-of-play areas, but it still has some pretty long drives. We're looking over on number five in the background there, which is our longest hole. And you can see the houses on the periphery, but in between, there's a lot of open space where there's no conflict with, uh, with golfers and residents, and not much conflict with wildlife. There's enough woods and water and rough areas that uh, we've got turkeys, you saw the cranes, um, deer come out, and it's, it's just a, a really uh, an abundant place for wildlife and a great experience for people who enjoy playing golf in that kind of a setting. The two poles there in the left-hand side of the screen are um, supports for a bat house. Uh, the bat house is, well, it was about 12 years old, so it was taken down and repaired and just hasn't been put back up yet. Um, but uh, at the, when it was built, it, it housed up to 500 bats in there. We know because we counted them. In fact, there's a YouTube video that shows a group coming out during the Dark Sky Festival to watch the bats fly out. And I'll put a, uh, a link to that at the end of this clip uh, so you can see it, the bat house in action. And of course, no visit to Florida would be complete without an alligator. Um, they're everywhere. Each pond has got at least one in there. And uh, this is a smaller one, actually. Um, uh, he's maybe four or five feet long. But uh, uh, we have a, a strict rule at Harmony about interacting with wildlife and, and particularly not feeding them. That seems to be a key key component of any kind of uh, of human animal um, program is to keep the healthy separation between the wildlife and the people it's a 
it seems to be a, a natural thing to want to feed wildlife, but uh, it really breaks down the, the bonds that are the, the barriers that separate people from animals. And when that happens, there's usually a conflict and it's the animal that gets it in the end. So we're pretty, uh, pretty strong about that. And that applies here uh, to the golf course, which is all around us. Let's go out a little bit and you can see where we are. We're back by the uh, the parking lot. Uh, you can see the golfer statue there in the background, uh, the clubhouse, and the cart barn over on the left. And uh, this is the ninth fairway leading up to the clubhouse. And is a busy place today.